Changes last week, 10 this week. It's worked again for you. How pleased are you with the performance today? Next week, 12. <laughs> 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 no, we, we didn't count, to be honest. There, it just, um, again, I, I, I said the boys before the game, but uh, Thursday was great, but with the same team, like Thursday, we have no chance today. Um, this um, Bournemouth team is a high energetic team usually, and um, if we play a little bit, like 70-80%, then um, it's all about quality, and it's only about readiness. And So we tried to find um, players again who are really ready for this game today, and we found them. I'm really happy about this, um, it looked great. Um, all the four wingers, full-backs and wingers, very young, very skilled, not the biggest experience, they did great. Used the, the experience from the most central player, Danny Ward in goal, really good, really good. All the problems he had in 2 0, clear faults, clear faults. So uh, hopefully he doesn't feel, he doesn't criticize himself. I will tell him nothing to criticize. So. And so I'm really happy we, we scored wonderful goals. We could have scored more. So at the end it, it became a little bit um, close. That, well, what you need, but uh, we had a close game Thursday, so if they score the second goal, yeah, we have to accept it. But um, I think over the whole 95 minutes, we were a clear better team. So three points, nice match, really enjoyable in a wonderful city. Let's go home and carry on. You said they're not the most experienced group of players, which, which <laughs> is true, but th they managed to see out the game pretty well, didn't they? Because Bournemouth had a go in the last 20 minutes and the crowd got behind them and they, they were able to see it through for the win. I think... Uh, <laughs> they were so tired that they didn't recognise that the crowd came up. <laughs> no, yeah, of course, but it's about then. The, the, we, we had in the centre, we had still experience, so, and they tried. And, and Dan Sturridge played an unbelievable good game. But Joe Allen, <laughs> what game of him? So, and that's, so they helped, of course, they organised, they, they, they did what they had to do, and so the, the young boys could a little bit swim with them and um, so yeah how is that to concede a goal like this that, that's not too nice but it's it's absolutely not a big problem and um, um, Bournemouth tried all but about 70 75 minutes we had them really where they want where we wanted them and um, that was a good game from my side and deserved win. And just finally a, a word on Daniel Sturridge you've used him sparingly over the last f few weeks and got him fit steadily instead is this the sharpest you've seen him look? Yeah, look, your colleague a few minutes before told me he was he made a f it's the first time since I don't don't know how many years that he would made four two years two years four Premier League starts in a row. So if we would have made four Premier League starts plus two European League starts, do you think it would have been possible? We are still in a something like a prepared and we prepare the whole squad for specific games. So and that's now he could play 90 minutes, a good 90 minutes really. So that's brilliant for us. So but we, we don't keep him. So we, I'm his coach. Manager sometimes very often is coach, and as a coach, you have to you have to look what you have to do with the player, and not only Danny, but you don't. I can't ask the player, do you like you more training or do you want to play? So that's not how, how it is. So I have to decide this. So now we have all these things we brought there today, Daniel in the last game. So that's cool. That's really cool, and um, hopefully they stay fit because we have already enough problems.